Hey guys, uh, today we're going to start talking a little bit about similar triangles and what that means. Okay, so we're moving on to trigonometry, which is the study of triangles, and today is going to be our first introduction lesson. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at these two triangles, and I want you to write down what's the same about them and what's different about them. Okay, so I actually want you to take a second, pause the video, and write it down, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about what uh, we discovered while <laughs> we were writing things down, okay? So, um, what I think that you guys probably would have said is something like, what's the same about them? Well, their shape, for one, all right, their shape looks like it's pretty similar, okay? Um, maybe some of you said angles, right? Their angles are the same. So you can definitely see that this angle here and this angle here are the same. This angle here and this angle here are the same, and this angle here and this angle here are the same. Okay, these little symbols are Greek symbols that I'm going to use uh, throughout the unit because that's what's used in geometry to denote angles. Okay, so this one's called alpha, beta, this one's called gamma. Okay, and I'm also going to use other ones which I'll tell you the names of as we use them. Okay, so my question is how do you know that these angles are the same? So you didn't measure them, you just looked and you kind of assumed that they were the same. So that's fine, um, except sometimes our diagrams aren't going to be to scale, so we definitely need a better way to make sure that angles are the same. Okay, uh, So we'll talk about that a bit. Um, now the next question is, what's different about these triangles? Okay, So I'm guessing that you guys said size. I'm guessing that you said uh, lengths. Right, uh, those two are things that are definitely different about them. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to talk about these similarities and these differences. Um, and the next thing I'm going to ask you is, um, what about these two triangles? So there's definitely two triangles. Okay, so I hope that you see triangle A, B, C. Okay, so you see triangle. A, B, C, and I also hope that you see triangle um, X, Y, Z, so I'm going to call it Y, X, C, okay? So I'm hoping that you see those two, diff those two triangles, and they're different, they're not exactly the same, okay? But there is something interesting about them, okay? The one thing that's interesting about them is uh, if you look here, so triangle um, XYC okay, and triangle ABC are here. And the, they were th the way that I created them was I made triangle ABC first, <coughs> and then I made triangle, uh, I made the line XY so that it's parallel to the line AB. Okay? So I made it so it's parallel to the line AB. Right, so see how if I change line A, B, line X, Y changes, okay? Um, and I also made it halfway between B, C, and halfway between A, C, okay? So that means as I change, if I change B, C to a nice number like 6, right, X, C is going to be 3. If I change um, A, C to a nice number like 9, Y, C is 4.5, okay? So this line is halfway between this and that, okay? All right, so now I want to talk about um, how do we know that this angle... So, of course, if I asked you to talk about how A, B, and C, uh, how triangle A, B, C is different or the same from triangle X, Y, C, you should get the same answers as in the last question. Right? You would say that they look like they have the same angles, they look like they have the same shape, they're just a different size. Okay. Now my question is, how do we know 100% sure 
that this angle here and this angle here are the same and this angle here and this angle here are the same. Okay. Well, remember how I made these lines, right? I made these lines so that this line is parallel to this line. Remember those little arrows are symbols for parallel? Okay. So if this is parallel to this, how could we conclude that this angle is the same as that angle? Do you remember something from grade 9 that tells you that? You should. Um, you should remember something called the F pattern. All right, so see right here, we have something that looks like a sideways letter F, right? And if we have a sideways letter F, then it means that these two angles are the same, right? They're called corresponding angles, okay? So that means what we've done is we've said uh, angle A, B, C is the same as angle y x c right and we said that that's because of corresponding angle theorem right okay um, so what else do we know we should also notice that there is another f pattern right so we've got another f pattern right here right One, Two, right, and what that means is that we could also say that angle um, BAC is equal to angle um, XYC, and also that's because of corresponding. Okay. So now we've got two angles which are the same. And what about the third angle? Because we're trying to conclude that all three angles are the same. All right? Well, the third angle, you can actually see that angle C is kind of its own angle, right? And appears in both triangles. Okay, so what we would write for that one is angle C is common. Okay? So angle C is common to both. So what we've done is we've said one, two, three angles are exactly the same, which lets us say that these two triangles are what we call similar. Okay, And the way that we write that is we say ABC is similar to YXC. Okay? And the reason why we conclude that they're similar is because they have matching angles. Okay, so angle, angle, angle. Now, we only really need two angles. That third angle is a given because inside a triangle there's 180 degrees. So as soon as I know that two angles are the same, that third one has to be the same because it has to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we call this angle, angle similarity, and we can prove it by finding two pairs of equal angles. Okay, so this one right here, is this one right here that was extra okay so we normally wouldn't need that one so we only need two and as soon as we have two the third one we know is going to be the same okay so now let's look a little bit at this to see what that says okay <coughs> so if this line right here is parallel to this line we have all these same angles but also we can say that these sides stay what we call in proportion, right? See how I made this so that that one cuts it in half. I made this so that that one cuts it in half. And all of a sudden what happens is, look at, um, look at what's happening between BA and XY, right? This one's three, this one's 1 1.5. If this one is four, that one's two. If this one is six, that one's three, right? So if I cut these two in half, that means I had to have cut this one in half as well. So that's where similar triangles are gonna become very useful. Um, and it's gonna let us say some more things about that triangle than we already know, okay? So let me just ask you a couple of questions before we finish here. Would these two triangles here be similar? So my question is, we've got um, 
we've got triangle D, uh, G, uh, DGH, so DGH, and we've got triangle DGH, and we've got triangle DEF. Okay, my question is, are they similar? Okay. So can we say that these lines are parallel? No. Do we know anything about the angles? No. So what that would mean is that, no, they're not similar as far as we can say. Okay. But what if I go a little bit further and I tell you, hey, um, this angle right here is actually exactly the same as that angle right there. Okay, what does that now help us do? So I've gone and I've labeled two angles for you. I've said angle DGH is exactly the same as angle DFE. <coughs> so now let's see what we can list about these two triangles. Well, we know that angle D is common. Okay, so we know angle D is common. Um, and we also know that DGH is equal to angle um, EFD or DE, DFE, doesn't matter. Okay, so this angle is common. These angles are the same. And the reasoning we give for that is that it's given, right? We already know that information. So now, if I know that D is the same as D, I know that G is the same as F. Well, that leaves the fact that H has to be the same as E. Okay? It has to because this, this, and this has to add up to 180. This, this, and this has to add up to 180, which means this has to be the same as that. Okay? So now we can right away conclude that there's two triangles which are similar, okay? And we can conclude it because of angle-angle similarity, okay? Now, all we have to do is name the two triangles, okay? So the naming of the triangles is important because it has to go in order. So we said angle D is common, so that one can go in the same place for both triangles. So that means if it's first here, it's got to be first here. Then we said G is the same as F. So that means if I'm going to put G here, I have to put F in the second spot here to match it. And we said H is the same as E, so if H goes here, E goes there. Okay? So this is a mat mathematical statement saying that DH, DGH is the same as DFE, and it gives a reason. It says, hey, this angle is the same, this angle is the same, which means the two triangles have to be similar. And now what that means is if I knew some measurement about this triangle, I could find out those measurements about the bigger triangle. Okay. So that's that. Um, so that's that. We'll continue talking about this in class.